side. It's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The vacuum. What's the point of cleaning up toys? You're just gonna go take them out again later. You said it! Tom Thomas, if you're done cleaning up, go and eat your lunch! Okay, be there soon. Nolik, you wait for me? Uh-huh! He calls this cleaning up. my mom. She started vacuuming. Please help! Help me! Help! Help! Please! It really is weird. How is it possible a vacuum cleaner can take all that dust in and none of it gets back out? Oh, come on. It's simple. They taught us about it way back in third grade of Fixie School. You can think of a vacuum cleaner as nothing more than a fan with a net. The fan spins backwards, so it sucks in air with dust and dirt. If you put a net in front of the fan, the net will catch everything that is in the air and let the air pass through. Then all you need to do is add a pipe and you've got yourself a vacuum cleaner. But instead of a net, vacuum cleaners use special bags to collect the dust and dirt. It's as simple as that. Oh, whoa, Simka. Uh, no, like, could he get sucked into the vacuum? Oh, no! Did he stay back there? Tom Thomas, what's the matter? Uh, uh, Mom, I can, I, can, I can finish vacuuming you. I'm, I mean, for you. All right. I'll go clean the dishes. No lick. No lick. No lick. No lick. No lick. We better go and get help right away. <laughs> Masia! Masia! No lick got sucked up inside the vacuum. It's impossible. He can't fit in here. No, not in this vacuum. Into the big one, the human. It's just terrible. Nolik, my Nolik, he could suffocate in there. Come on, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> this dust is just awful. And it's awfully bad for you, too. Dust is a tiny enemy. It's so small and unnoticeable. But if dust gets inside machines and appliances, it's a disaster just waiting to happen. It can keep gears from turning properly. Dust can make appliances overheat. And if dust gets onto electric contacts, it can create a short circuit that can even cause a fire. That's why we fixies have to constantly clean the insides of appliances from dust. Even though a lot of us are allergic to it. He he ha choo! If only people would just dust a little more often than they do right now. Ha, 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 choo! At least people could dust more on the outside. That would make our work so much easier. And their equipment would break a whole lot less often. Well, did you find him? No! It's all my fault. My mom asked me to clean up my toys, and I didn't just do it like she asked. Now it sucked him in because of me. Nolik! Nolik! So what do you say, Tom Thomas? Yeah. 
What? I already apologized. And I already promised to clean up my toys. And why are you sneezing? To keep you company. So you'd feel a little better. <laughs> is the Fixie's victory call. When a job is well done and we Fixies are proud of our work, we exclaim, Tadish! And raise up our hand with our thumb and first two fingers sticking out. You want to know what it means? It's very simple. Fixies love solving problems and fixing things that are broken. And do you know what you need to do to solve a problem? First, you need to find out what's broken. Second, understand why it broke. And third, repair what's broken so it works again. So do what the Fixies do and first, find it. Second, understand it. And third, fix it. Tadish! <laughs> it really is a great word. And it sounds funny. But we Fixies surely like it a lot. Well, what do you say, Professor? 
It couldn't be any more accurate. Our manipulator works just perfectly. Good! So that means that we're free to go. Great. See you later. All right, finally. Now it's our turn to experiment with that manipulator. And do you know how to operate this m manipulator? <laughs> Why do you think we were spying? A manipulator is a kind of mechanical arm that people use for difficult or dangerous work. To control a manipulator, humans use a remote control or a joystick. The operator gives the command, and the mechanical arm grabs and moves the load. Some robotic manipulators don't even need to be steered by an operator. They're controlled by computers and can work without people being there at all, even on the moon. Huh. What is this button for? Uh-huh. How about this one? Uh-huh. Would you like to take a ride right now? Huh, you're scared. Scared? Not one bit. Then off we go. Yeah, cool. Ha, this is totally awesome. Well, hang on. This is going to get even awesomer. Professor? Hmm, strange. What made this ladder just fall over? Ah! Am I crazy? Or is someone here? Oh, calm down. Calm down now. Poor Elisa. Yeah, you're completely overworked. Who's here? Achoo! Hang in there, Nolik. I'll get you out of there. My compact's gone. Oh dear, what's going on? Ah! Stop this nonsense right now, or I'll call the police on you! I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in... Ah! Where are you pulling me? I'm going to faint. I'm warning you. That's all. Goodbye. Oh. Throughout the world, humans use manipulators for all sorts of work. In factories, manipulators are used to lift and move heavy loads. They can also hand out the parts needed for assembly or even attach these parts themselves. In hospitals, more precise manipulators are used by doctors to help perform operations. Manipulators are also used in places where the work is simply too dangerous for people. For instance, where there are deadly chemicals, or places where humans can't get to easily. Like somewhere underground where there isn't enough space to move, or deep under the water. Or in outer space where there's absolutely no <laughs> air to breathe. So you see, mechanical arms are helpful in all sorts of places where humans are unable to reach things with their own arms. Hang on, Nolik. How can I get that thing open? Ugh, I got it! Yes? Who's there? What's going on? Uh, uh, achoo! Ah, ah, ah. No, Nolik? What are you doing in there? Achoo! We just <laughs> took a little test flight. Is this yours? <gasps> Elisa! Elisa! Professor Eugenius! I was attacked by a crazy arm! The manipulator! <laughs> it's your imagination! Look, it's come back! Stop! Stop, I'm telling you! Professor Eugenius, it heard what you just said. Calm down, it's okay. It was a little malfunction, but I took care of it. You are just astounding! And don't think that I'm through with you! With me? With you? <laughs> no, no, with the manipulator. Let's go, Elisa. Yeah, let's go, Professor. Great job, fire. And why fire?